one space capsule, three different rocket designs, will I survive the trip to space, and also be able to land safely back here on Earth? So right now I have just this little cute space capsule. And if we go off this little launch pad here, you can see that once I start falling at a certain speed, the thrusters turn on to slow my descent. Now I added a cool little feature in here to where you can kind of lean into your turns a little bit and kind of aim yourself away from dangerous terrain. And of course I can land very safely. So let's think here, what's wrong with the modern rocket? That's right, it's not fun. Okay, Elon Musk's uh, giant rocket that skydives is pretty fun. That's pretty cool. But my idea is to make it, of course, very long. And then let's add a bunch of these giant rocket boosters going all the way down. And let's do this little test, shall we? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't bad. This is not bad. We're kind of, um, well, we're kind of tilting. Oh, we're definitely not making it to space. We are definitely not making it to space. Okay, let me click one. Uh, shoot off. Shoot off. Woo! Man! Oh my gosh, look at it go. Ooh, ooh, that's weird. That is weird. Oh, this little space pod, bro. I'm so far out here in the middle of the ocean, and uh, unfortunately, I did not add any form of floaties on here. So, yeah, let's hope we can make it back to the carrier. Please! Please! Please, no! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, look at that! We made it! We made it! Oh my gosh! Okay, I mean, that was cool or whatever, but we really weren't going all that fast, and it kind of looks lame. So let's add even more thrusters. Also, the tip of those rockets look, uh... Anyways, three, two, one, here we go! Oh, see, this one's going a lot more straight than the last one. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We're going sideways, but it's okay. It's okay. Could we cut power for a second? Uh, gas it again? Oh, maybe this is working? This may be working? How fast are we going? Let's see. 300 in nearly 30 miles an hour? That's insane, bro. And you know what? We're going up. We are going up. I don't even see the islands anymore. We might eventually hit the edge of the map, especially if we're going over 300 miles an hour. Well, if I'm not making it back to land, I at least need to try and hit the uh, barrier near the sun. Jeez, that is bright. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're drifting. We're drifting. The speed is slowly going up as we're going down. Should I just eject? I'll eject. I'll eject. Eject. Number one. And... Oh! What happened? Oh! What? Oh my gosh. I'm in my seat. I'm in my seat. I'm just stuck in here. Look at my little chirpo. He's moving his head. <laughs> no! Dang it, dude. What if I just copy it again? Again, and then I copy it again. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the speedometer here so we can see how fast we're actually going. But here we go. Let's take off with four extra boosters. Oh my gosh. We're climbing at like three something in climbing. This is ridiculous. Uh, you know what? Eject. That's not gonna work out well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. Also, look at us in first person here. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, I hit the water fast. All right, well that was cool and dang was that fast. What is happening with this rocket? What the heck, bro? But anyways, don't forget, I still have two more rocket designs to show you guys. So for rocket number two, let's go ahead and make this thing into one big pool noodle. Wow, surprisingly, this is working very well so far. I would think it would be tipping over, but uh, apparently not. Here we go. Oh, wow, look it. This is clean, dude. We are going up, and look, I could do a little twirl, I could do a little spin for us here. Well, the map is uh, almost out of render distance now, and honestly, if you guys have played on Danger Zone, you know that you can't actually get to space from this map, but you can hit the skybox, and uh, I think that we're probably getting pretty close. Oh, okay. Yep, well technically we made it to space. Alright, I have made this thing so long you can't even see it on the entire screen, but let's go ahead and take off here. You know, I'm gonna go in F5 cam because I think that's the only way that we can see this thing. Whoa! I can kind of see the entire thing, but this is ridiculous, bro. What happens if I cut power? Oh no. Oh no. Elon Musk who? This one's the real skydiver, bro. Look at this thing. Alright, we're getting real low. Let me go ahead and gas it. Let me go ahead and gas it. Oh, it's saving itself. 
Oh my gosh, no way, bro. Look at us go. Yeah. But while it's at its peak right now, I'm going to go ahead and click one so we eject. And here we go. That was a perfect ejection. Oh no, we're going to get... We're gonna get rocked by one of those pieces, bro. Okay, it's bigger than us, so it's falling just a little bit faster. Okay, it's actually falling a lot a bit faster. Oh, it's about to hit the ground. Oh, oh, it's just crumbling. All right, I'm aiming for the barrels. I'm aiming for the barrels. I mean, okay, I technically hit the barrels. For this next design, I'll be going back in time, kind of. So there's this old German concept jet design that has massive wings in the center of the airplane. And at the end of each of those wings, there are massive thrusters. And basically it spins insanely, insanely fast to provide, of course, a bunch of lift. Also, it was in Captain America, so that's kind of where I got this idea from. Taking off in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't have any thrusters in here. I just have the wings and then of course those turbine engines on the end. Wow, this looks so cool. Look at the smoke trail. Let's go in F5. Let's just take a look at that. What the heck, dude? That is awesome. This is so cool. Now, okay, is this an effective space launch? Well, no, because, you know, um, turbines and wings don't work in space. Also, we're going 19 miles an hour in climbing, which is absolutely horrible, I could assume, for a rocket. But uh, yeah, if you guys know how fast rockets actually go, please leave that comment down below because my gosh, this seems like it would take days. Speaking of days, I'm not trying to be uh, flying up here for that long. So let's go ahead and click one. Here we go. Opens up and... What? What? Where did it even go? It just disappeared completely. All right, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about what happened to the rocket. I'm worried about me. What is going to happen to me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, look at us. Look at us go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the whole thing just got obliterated. What if I were to crank up the speed of these gyros here? What would happen? Can I actually tilt? Oh, I can tilt. I can actually fly this thing like... Well, not necessarily a plane, but, you know, like a helicopter, maybe? Oh, but it doesn't like this. It really doesn't like this. It looks like we're gonna nosedive. Uh, let's jump out, or eject out. There we go. That was perfect. That was a perfect ejection, and look at it, it's like floating down. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's so Oh, no, I forgot. Because I cranked this thing, I could do flips. Oh, oh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, and look, it's going, it's good. Is it gonna land? Oh, I landed in the water, dang it. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And as always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.